Hey everybody, good morning. Day 18 of Coffee and Devotions with PD. Uh, this episode is the hospital edition. And it's uh, sponsored by McDonald's. Uh, yesterday's cup, today's coffee. That's their motto. At least it is for today. So I find it really interesting that uh, all of you desperately want to get out of your homes and I desperately want to go to my home. Uh, it's interesting philosophy, isn't it? <laughs> and they say home is where the heart is and I believe that to be so true. You see, they say that I have a tiny block in an artery that, uh, that leads to my heart and I want to ask you a question today. Is there any blockage in your home? Any blockage in relationships in your home? See, even a tiny blockage can restrict the health flow to any essential relationship. It can be an unresolved conflict. It can be a misunderstanding. Just even a lack of quality time together um, can cause there to be a blockage, a breakdown in relationship. I just want to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to be really brief this morning. Uh, I can't be out here this early too long. But I want to read for you John chapter 14, uh, starting at verse number 15. And it says it like this. It says, loving me, the words of Jesus, loving me empowers you to obey my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforter, the Holy Spirit of truth, who will be to you a friend just like me, and he will never leave you alone. The world won't receive him because they can't see him or know him, but you know him intimately because he will make his home in you and will live on the inside of you. Just think about that. That's a promise from Jesus. That he's gonna give you the spirit of truth and Jesus and the spirit of truth alongside of the Father, they want to willingly come and make their home on the inside of you. In other words, they wanna come and live in your heart. There's a tiny little issue with my heart, not a big issue, all my vital signs are normal. There's a little tiny issue. There's a blockage. And that blockage needs to be corrected so that blood can flow, and so that there can be life, and there can be fullness of wholeness. And if I can put it like this, the fullness of home in my heart. So I wanna ask you, is there any kind of blockage in relationships in your heart. This passage of scripture in John chapter 14 leave us with two very important promises. Number one, remember that love empowers. It says that in verse 15, love empowers you to obey my commands and to keep in tune with right relationship with God, thus in right relationship with each other. So I want you to remember first and foremost that love empowers. It knows no distance in the heart. And number two, true relationships never leave. Jesus said the Holy Spirit's gonna come with you and he's gonna never ever leave you. He's that spirit of comfort, he's that spirit of truth. And I'm gonna tell you something, I've really experienced the spirit of comfort and the spirit of truth while I've been here in the hospital. So I want you to know something, even this day 18 of Coffee and Devotions with PD, the day after we celebrated the resurrection of Christ, I want you to understand that pursuing Jesus causes you to be at home in his heart. And if you're at home in his heart, then you're gonna be at home with each other's hearts. And I'm believing that's a good thing for all of us. So let's pray together. Father, I wanna thank you for your word. I wanna thank you for your truth. I wanna thank you for your Holy Spirit. I wanna thank you that you're guiding and leading us. And you're helping every single one of us to be powerful sons and daughters. And we commit our hearts afresh to you. We wanna be at home in your heart. We wanna be at home in your, in your, in your purposes. We wanna be at home in your, in your plans. No matter what's going on around us. And we're asking you right now, Holy Spirit, to show us where there's some blockage, where there's some misunderstandings, where there's some disconnect in key relationships. And help us right now, Holy Spirit, to be empowered by love and be connected by truth. And we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, amen.
you, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, just love what God doing, is doing in all of our hearts. And above all, I gotta get back to my room. Don't forget, wash your hands. I love you. See you tomorrow. Thank you.